Hello! Sorry for the black screen there. I was busy not paying attention. I'm your host, Will Crosby. And it's weird, because we're not playing a sandbox game today. We're playing Mario. And who's that who has joined me? It sounds like it could be my friend, Ian Gibson. Hey, how's it going? I'm uh, Billy Detroit, fresh from Motor City. That's not the person whose name I said. So, Billy Detroit, get the frick out of here. Hey, I'm just here from Motor City, USA. I don't want to disturb your setup here. <coughs> I don't like you. Um, oh, Hi. Uh, sorry about that. I, <laughs> that was a little <sighs> weird. I'm Billy. I'm uh, from Detroit, a.k.a. Motor City. This <laughs> is my real so place. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to... Oh, that didn't work because I'm not clicked on it. Oh, I gotta get those global keys working. Cut to this. We're here. Um, okay. We're gonna play some Mario Maker games tonight. Very excited. Um, nobody. Uh, I don't think anyone's here in the chat yet, so we might just play. We some got of the Splat ones. Level up. We got Splat Towns level though, so we'll play that. We got Splat Towns level up. Full screen. This. Grab this controller that's number one in case you can't read it because i have two of these um gonna lean back a little bit you know get comfy um type in this this here id and uh you know away we go i already want to touch my nose Did it. Sorry. We made it. What? Hey, what? I haven't been on a stream in a week. Yeah, it's, it's been a true. Week. Uh, no, Zach wait, and was I, I on? You was were I on, on last Thursday? You were on, because I wasn't here last Thursday, right? Man, it's just been a busy uh, last week for me. You know, yeah, what have you been up stuff. to? Well, I uh, went to Seattle for Third a wedding. How Seattle. Was that? Lovely city. Lovely city. Um, but... great wedding, very high cost of living in particular really? real estate. Um, so just to give you an idea, we stayed in a home that was an Airbnb mm -hmm. and it was built in, I would estimate the 1950s or the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ficoris. Uh, thanks for joining. If you got a level, just go ahead and put the code in chat and we'll throw it at the top of the list and play it next. Um, so anyways, we stayed in an Airbnb. It was three bed, two bath, built in the 50s or the 60s, partially renovated, mm -hmm. um, probably about, I want to say 10 miles from downtown. Um, so not too far. Guess the cost, the, the estimated cost of that house, the market value. 300,000. $970,000. Excuse yes, me? House, Insane. I would love to live in Seattle if it wasn't for the insane housing cost. That's crazy. Um, yeah, it was a lovely city. Lots of stuff to do. There's like no traffic. Very easy to get around. Lots of great food everywhere. Like a foodie city. Um, and I was fine with the weather. It wasn't that bad. It's also very hilly, which is great because you got a lot of nice, um, nice visuals. Mm -hmm. But just insane housing cost and that's just that ain't gonna renting or buying just that ain't gonna that's no good you know what i'm saying it's no good yeah I it's do. no boy no boys hi it's me I no like boy no boy so um so anyway so we got back tuesday night around 7 p.m and then i had to do laundry pack and leave early wednesday morning to go to detroit for a work trip and i got home from that at about 6 15 p.m this afternoon that's fun yes yeah, so i've basically had almost seven days straight of traveling come on dog don't look at me anymore um that's fun i love traveling yeah it's not bad uh, it's just uh 
It's a lot, but Detroit, Detroit's, uh, it's actually nice. I don't know if you knew this, but Detroit got hit very bad by the recession. Oh, Detroit. Detroit. You say, you don't say. Yeah, but it's kind of funny because I, I think what happened was it got hit by the recession. Everybody left, and then all these buildings became dirt cheap. So now people bought up the buildings, and they've, like, I don't want to say fully renovated but a lot of them are now like Come on. like hip restaurants Doing and so cafes well. and businesses yeah. so the downtown is just like half empty half super trendy that's so, so weird. it's weird it's weird but it's it's kind it's like you can tell it's it's on the upswing yeah. um but at the same time like i was driving around at 10 30 a.m this morning on a thursday and there was no traffic in downtown which was great um just crazy stuff yeah um and my friend was telling me about neighborhoods that she works in a big office building Mm. that uh is was an older building and it was purchased during the recession for literally one dollar what one dollar and they turned it into an an office space like a shared office space that people use and that neighborhood now has townhouses and townhomes going for half a million dollars jeez yeah so it literally went it went from like real estate that nobody would purchase because it was literally worth nothing Mm -hmm. to half a million dollars in about 10 years um and it's all very close to downtown it's like a couple blocks north of the baseball park like two blocks south of like wayne state university it's it's weird it's like the downtown was dead but now it's like reborn in a way yeah that's crazy yeah, and it's and they have all this old architecture. Like I was in a bagel shop this morning, and they didn't when they bought the building, they didn't tear it down. They kept it up. Hi, Super Gustav Pancakes. We're going to add your level to the list, and we will play it right after Ficores. Ficores. Um. So yeah. Anyways, just to wrap it up, Detroit surprisingly not awful. Surprisingly not awful. Hey, I beat it. I kept saying that to everybody I met there. It's like, hey, this place is not not awful. Well, I was not using as, bad as you thought it was going to be. Yeah, but this is a, this is a PG thirteen. It's PG thirteen stream, folks. Yeah, we don't use that kind of language around here. Not allowed. Hey, I'm gonna be fun. right back. I got to get a uh, glass of water. But let me prep your next level, which is Ficoris. Ficoris. It's me, a Ficoris. I love Ficoris. Hello, buenos dias, Ficores. Hi, Ficores. Okay, very good. Bye. What's up, everyone? Uh, this is Will here. Um, you know, just hanging out. Um, I guess I can talk about what I've been playing. I've been playing a crap ton of Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen. The game is real fun. I finally just hit, like, a fun part. Not to say it wasn't fun before that, but, like, I'm starting to get the game. Uh, I'm very enjoying it. Um, anyways, uh, before I continue that, let's just green Goomba, watch the plants use fire. Gonna start the old timer here. Hit play. This should be fun for Kores. Submitted this. Let me just check chat over here. Yes, after him we will be playing uh, Pancakes GG. Uh, hey, this is Detroit Billy. How do I submit a level? Uh, you can submit a level by writing it in the chat, and then Ian will type it into our Google Sheet. I'm actually working on automating that. Um, so um, so I, I tried to do that, but the problem I was having was getting it across all three chat systems. That was the difficult part. Yeah. I think it's only... feasible. I just gave up. Yeah. So, but we will yeah. need it anyways for our upcoming stream. What are you talking? In five weeks' time. Oh, extra life. Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and say we're doing extra life, folks. We're doing extra life, folks. We're doing extra life, folks. Mark your calendars. Um, oh, I'm so. Dumb. We're, we've got a lot of work to do because it's kind of a special 25-hour stream, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, just jump on it. Oh, I hate you. Really yeah we we got oh stupid boy we got a lot of planning to do a lot a lot of planning um 
So yeah, I gotta actually do some stuff for that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're doing Extra Life. We've got some really cool ideas. Shaping. Shape, um, shape, shape. Shape, shape, shape. So it should be fun. Uh, yeah, not much else to announce about that other than we're working on it. Um, Ian. Hi. I, I was listening to the Bombcast today. And they asked a Hi. good email question that I thought might be a good question for us for our little Hi. chat sessions here. Uh -huh. um, and that is, is there any video game that you associate with a particular... Oh, you stupid, fat idiot. Um, sorry. Is there any video game that you particularly associate with a time of the year? So the email was saying that they always associate Tetris with... Oh, you stupid freaking... They always associate Tetris with cold weather. Is there anything um, you associate? I always associate... Uh, I feel like this is cheating in a way, because it's just like... I associate Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon with um, uh, Thanksgiving because that's when it came out and I played it during my Thanksgiving break. That's you not bad. I mean? That's kind of close to my answer. But the one yeah. I immediately thought of when I was listening to it is um, World of Warcraft. I associate with the summer and that's the winter disgusting. breaks. Because hey, you know what I give would you credit though, you didn't say Dwarf Fortress or Metal Gear, so it's true. I only ever played it uh, when I was when the only time I ever had to really play World of Warcraft was during winter break and summer break. So that's what I associate it with. Also, when I hear uh, the Straight No Chaser uh, Christmas album, it only makes me think of World of Warcraft because I would play that and play World of Warcraft. Straight no chaser. Yeah, I'm it's an a acapella. Wow. Okay, I'm just not gonna look that up anymore because I Pretty can already good. tell it's trash. Nope. Who's next? Uh, Super Gustav Pancakes. It's a me a pancake. Oof. Ian, um, I got a beautiful uh, package in the mail today. Beautiful, beautiful package. Containing mm. a future Scanlines game. Or an Extra Life stream game, to be honest with you. Yeah, we got to talk about... We're going to be shooting some more uh, stuff next weekend. Let's talk in code. Let's plan in code. Let's plan in code. Would you like to shoot the Dreamcast stuff next weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking for Scanlines, we do um, Regis Philbin. Yes, Regis Philbin. I got to check that, though. I may have compatibility issues. Gotcha. Because of, because of weird video setup with that game in particular. But um, I also think we do a superhero number. Oh, is that the same as, I was going to say, Bizarro? Yes. Yes. Um, and then I think we also do um, some server quest, in-person yes. server quest. Oh, that yeah. gets us three. Should we shoot... A what do you think, a third scan lines, or do we plan for something else? Um, I have a, I have a couple PC games. I, I don't know if I've told you this. I have like eight good candidates installed on my PC right now. We could do... We could do... Uh, we could do... Sneaky... Sneaky K9. Oh, I forgot we were talking code. Sneaky oh, no, wait. K9. Sorry, sorry. That's not, that's not the right name for it. We could what? do educational game. Education. This is like password. Educational game. Is that one I have or one you have? It's one that you happen you accidentally bought. When I accidentally bought? I'm not getting Yes, it. you bought it with approximately nine other games. Folks, if you're watching this, I'm just they know what it is. Confused as you are. They know they what, know it, what is. it is. We have shown it on camera before. 
I would say I would say something closer, like a clue for the name, but I can't even remember the name. Okay, let's go over it. Education oh, game. Oh. Uh, you have bought it as part oh. of nine other games. Yeah. Nine? Why are you saying nine other games? Because how did you purchase it? Yeah, I bought all those together, but it was 15. Oh, it was 15? Yeah, so it was 14 oh, other okay. games. And like three um, of those were install discs for one game. That's true. Um, which, by the way, so I installed Diablo is, 2 and yeah. immediately asked for a, a, a code. <laughs> and I was like, dang it. Well, you can just get a key, Jen. It's old enough that'll work. You could actually probably just use a key. That's what I've had to do for old games is there's a forum. I tried to look up if there was where... a key. But, oh, I guess, I guess they wouldn't have been real, necessarily one-time use back then. No, because they couldn't check. Right. So you just had to have a valid key. That's all. Okay, maybe I'll grab that. Because I genuinely do want to play that game. Um, the only time I played Diablo 2 was the first time I played it, freshman year of college, somebody bought a pirated version from a store, and it came with a whole bunch of Russian mods, but it was amazing, and I beat the game that way with them. We played co-op. And then I went back a couple years, and I tried to play it normal, and it turns out normal's not as good as a heavily modded version of Diablo 2. Like, it had, like, the like transmutation cube from the start, had, like, more enemies and more stuff in it, and it made the game, like, great um, in a way that the normal game is just a little bit too slow and, I don't want to say plotting, but it, it locks stuff away. I mean, by choice, by design. But when your first experience with the game is, like, ramped up to 11... It's hard to go back. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be what? That'll be three scan lines and at least one server quest. Maybe we do two. Yeah, one or two. I don't know how best to film server quests. It's back to back. So one person has... Well, actually, I can bring my webcam and we can do dual webcam. Right, but I only have one computer. I have a laptop. Yeah, but oh, Remember, I guess that's true. MMOs, yeah. So we're going to play the game back to back. And in each person's webcam shot is the back of the other person. Oh, here's the. What do you think about that? That's not a bad idea. I like that. Yeah. So I'll just bring my laptop because I should be able to run these off my laptop. Um, and yeah, I think that's good. And then for scan lines, just remember we are changing format slightly so you got to do research for the games you are responsible for oh if that makes sense I didn't, I didn't think i realized that oh crap yeah because we're going to give more game info got you okay well it's a good thing so those ones i use off that guy's website who uh exes them uh he has like a whole little page about them oh perfect yeah because i gotta research mine done so then what so let me um let me pull up that spreadsheet nobody's watching this anyway so let me pull up that spreadsheet and just kind of schedule these out a little bit oh can you see if it posted by the way uh in discord no it did not really so, but i i did it myself yeah i just want to see if that was you or if that was it that's really annoying i i forget what the name of that the game that you got is we also have the Genesis game, but I kind of don't want to do that until I have, I'm going to buy an, I think I'm going to buy an RGB. Oh, 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 you mean CIA. Um, ooh, what's a good way? CIA. Fantastic. Mr. CIA. that what you mean? No, I thought you'd already solved the educational game. No, I hadn't solved it. I just realized what you were talking about when you said I bought nine other games. Ooh. Is it? Oh, I don't get your clue, though. So that's the problem is I don't know if we're... Oh, the Wes Anderson movie? Oh, Burn After Reading? No. <laughs> We're talking about Spy Fox, right? Yes. See, the problem is I didn't know. I couldn't remember what the name was. I said Fantastic Mr. CIA. 
instead of Fantastic oh, Mr. Fox. So I was close. I kept thinking it was Sly Fox, but then I thought that was incorrect because it was Sly Cooper. <laughs> He's a raccoon. Raccoon. So that's, raccoon. That's, why I, that's why I said Secretive K9. Secretive K9. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Fox is a K9, right? I don't think so. Is a fox a cat or dog? Well, that's certainly incorrect. Okay, I don't think it's this either just... one of those. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's K9. Oh, just can't. I can't Google Fox because that doesn't work. Really? There's a lot of stuff on there. Foxes are small to medium-sized omnivorous man mammals belonging to several genera of the family Canidae. Canidae, from Latin canis dog, is a lineage of carnivorians that includes domestic dogs, wolves, coyotes, foxes, jackals, oh. dingoes. So I, I, I think, I mean... I guess, technically. Well, yeah. He wins I on technicality. Technical. On the technicality. I really like this level, by the way. Yeah, this is good stuff. It's a shame this person isn't here to watch watch us play it. I really Folks, think... If, um, if you guys in the in the chat have any extra levels, uh, go ahead and put the code in. We'll throw them to the top of the list. It's a, it's a little quiet and cozy around here today, but that means it's easier for us to play your levels right away. True. I unfortunately think people are very used to our Tuesday Mario Makers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could see that. Um... The other thing I was going to say is uh, next. So next Tuesday, we will probably be picking up Mario Maker again. Um, or at least I no, intend to. No, no. Tuesday is uh, oh. Destiny. Oh, yeah. Tuesday is Destiny. And oh, Thursday uh, is Spooky Pixel. Oh, Thursday. Is, wait, because we're hitting October. I didn't kill three alums. <gasps> wow. Well, you got time to go back if you want. It's light around here. Um, okay. When... Oh, they're right here. When uh, are we doing the spooky sandboxes? N never never no will will sandbox is not spooky sandbox is open world crafting multiplayer games yeah but we have a spooky one to play no we don't i mean we do but we're not doing that we're doing spooky pixel oh i talked about it last week i talked about it on tuesday yeah that's wrong no thursdays are spooky pixel which is where we play a new horror game every week oh well for five weeks in a row i believe okay and then Tuesdays are going to be the regular Subpixel Live. What do we play? Whatever, which is Destiny Two next week. And then I think we'll just go back to maybe we'll do some Jackbox. Actually, Jackbox. I believe at the end of October, Jackbox Six comes out. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Fakoris just posted. Hey, Fakoris, thanks. Let me put your level at the top of the list here. I'm going to type it in. Um, uh, okay, that's fine. I just, um, EPG. Okay, that just, I'll have to tell Zach. He'll be very disappointed. Yeah, because we just, we don't, we don't have enough room in the schedule or enough interest. In right, I, I was assuming Spooky Pixel was Tuesdays and then Sandbox we'd keep on Thursdays. No. Because Sandbox sucks. Sweet. I like Sandbox. I think we have to kill Sandbox. Nobody watches it, though. I don't care. It's fun. Hey, but that's the thing, is that it hasn't been fun since Minecraft. Oh, I'm ha Let's well, just go back to Minecraft. You just don't like fun... Or I should say... Actually, Zach and I were... I don't know if you watch the stream when you're not on it. But Zach and I, I were just talking don't. about that you have zero patience for any video Bad game games. That, that you don't like. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, that's not true. I think I can stick with it for a stream, 
I think it's because it's a series that I'm like, ugh, that I suffer through it. Yeah. Plus, I can just tell when it's not good for viewers. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't give a crap about viewers, though. Oh, this one's oh. fast. It's right there, baby boy. Right there. Oh, I didn't start the timer, did I? You can do it. Yeah, you're going to run out of time before you get it. Have you made any more uh, Super Mario Maker 2 levels? I really haven't. <laughs> I already did it. I was going to laugh so hard if, if there were just spikes. If for whatever. Yeah, something over there. You're the worst. It's a great level. It was a good level. Thank you for course. Uh, um, I'm speaking of video games. I've been playing a lot of uh, Link's Awakening. I'm actually very close to beating it. Oh yeah, because of all the travel. That? It's it's very good. It's very good. Um, so I know there's frame rate issues, but the weird thing is, I played up 99 percent of it. Hi, Odd Slim Jim. Thanks for joining. If you've got a level you'd like us to play, uh, just throw the code in the chat and we'll add it to the list. Um. So I've been playing Link's Awakening. 99% of it I have played in handheld mode. Mm -hmm. And the thing about handheld mode is the frame rate drops do occur, but they're not that big of a deal, if that makes sense. I heard there's I no difference for those between docked and handheld. Well, I would argue there is a difference. Because in handheld mode, the screen is smaller and it's further away from your eyes. Or well, it's not. It's not that it's further away from your eyes. It's that you are not as close as close to the screen. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, that's still not making sense. The screen is smaller in your field of vision, in handheld mode. So when the screens when the when it stutters slightly, it's not a big deal. It happens all the time, but it's just not a big deal. It doesn't affect the gameplay. Gotcha. However, thank you, Alex, I played Jim. It, I played it for the first time, Doc, tonight, and. Ooh boy, let me tell you something. When it stutters, it is very noticeable on a TV. Really? Yeah, it's it's weird because I was not expecting it to be that noticeable, but it 100% is. It's like it's like the whole screen. It's literally the entire frame stutters. So on handheld mode, you're just like whatever. You just get used to it. But it in on the TV, because it's like more of your field of vision, it's it's jarring. Um, you can still get used to it. It just takes longer. So that's that's kind of the only thing I have to say about the main complaint people have about the game, which is the... Um, oh, what am I thinking? The frame rate issues. It's really only a problem if you're playing off the TV. And it's not yeah. going to impact... It's not going to impact your gameplay. It just takes a little while to get used to it. Um, Slim Jim, I've got you next on the list, so once we're done with this level, we'll play yours next. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to play it still. Yeah, the game um, itself is, is very good. It's, um, I've been using a walkthrough because they're, they haven't super updated it. It's pretty close to the original, so there's still stuff that's like you have to do things in a particular order. Like you have to go get this item and then before you go to the dungeon, but it doesn't really make that super clear. And it's not super clear sometimes how you use new items or which new enemies. Oh, what am I thinking? How you, how you defeat new enemies, depending on how their weaknesses are set up. It's not easy to discern that. So I have been using a walkthrough for that, but uh, it's fine. It's good. It's good classic Zelda. That's good at least. Yeah, I um I played and beat Untitled Goose Game. Oh, does that mean it's short? It's it's very short. Um, Ugh. but it's great. I'm out. I really like I'm out. it. I'm out. And after you beat it the first time, they just update all the levels to have you do new things. So I don't I, I don't know what happens after that. How short are we actually talking here, though? Maybe two hours. How much is it? Ten bucks? Uh, I paid fifteen. Yeah, see, that's I don't want to be a stickler, but but I mean, like after I beat the main story, everything's the whole world's open up, and then mm -hmm. it's just um, like you have all so you have these lists you're completing, and you have all new yeah. tasks on the lists. Yeah, maybe I'll play it eventually. Very fun. I just 
You can check it out here. I like, I'm, if the experience is, like, I felt the experience was worth the money. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I had such a good time. And when I beat it, I was, I wouldn't say I was emotional in, like, crying or anything, but I was very, like, emotionally satisfied that I finished it. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Because it yeah, was, that's, that's fair. It was a very cute story and a very, uh, interesting, oh, I'm so dumb. Why is very he, interesting story. Why is the goose mean? Is it because his son died? Yeah, his son is... Oh, actually, his wife died. And so he's... Giving birth to his son. Yes, exactly. And so now, now he he's taking... His son. Yeah, now he's taking his yeah. son, um, who's not uh, ancient Greeks, and he's taking him to, um, to Norse mythology. And then he's d- uh, dying. <sighs> Ugh. I don't like this i mean i like this because it's really cool wait but i don't yeah Come back this does it pop does the thwomp pop off the bones or does it no i pop off the bone oh no i just mean does the thwomp pop from the bone walking or only from you walking only from me walking oh so you really gotta feed it do it hey great job thanks Odd Slim Jim uh, says his levels will be easy for a pro player. But see, the thing is, Will's bad at Mario. Yeah, it's so true. Very bad at Mario. Didn't you already defeat these goobers? Oh, I did. Sorry, I, was, I forgot which run this was. Hey, good job. Yeah, Link's Awakening is good. And I'll, I'll hand that off to you probably next weekend because I bought it physical. I think, uh, I think on Total Goose Game, I just I don't have time for... I'm like having to be very judicious with my video game playing right now because I just don't have a lot of free time. So... Yeah. I just... I'm, I'm kind of... I'm trying to tell myself it's a bad game so I don't feel like I have to play it right now. Yeah. I um while you were gone, I was saying I, I've been playing uh, Dr- Dragon's Dogma. Oh yeah, is that actually good or is it just very niche? It's I would say it's very niche. Um, oh, what am I what am I doing? F X K. Um, but it's very fun in a janky sort of way. Mm-hmm. It feels very much like a mid two thousands RPG but plays really okay. well. Like, the okay. combat's very fun, and, like, the whole pawn system is really cool, but there's no hand-holding. Like, I was very confused. Uh, not very confused, but, like, I did this whole quest, and I thought I couldn't do it, so then I was like, oh, I'll go level up, and then I found out it's one of those things where you're supposed to, like, quote-unquote, be defeated, but they don't tell you oh, that. Oh, I hate that. So the way I found out is... Um, the pawn system. So you create your character, you play the whole intro, and then you become a uh, arisen, all that stuff. And they're like, okay, now now make a pawn. So you make like a a follower. And so when you rested an inn, your follower goes out and works for other people. Like other players hire your pawn, uh-huh. and you are allowed to hire two of other players' pawns. Uh huh. I hate you so much. Oh, there's two. Ugh. This is gross. Um. Uh Ooh, I ate that. Um. So, but other players' pawns, like, if they've beaten the game or done a quest you're doing, they know about it. Uh In some, like, weird way. So the second time after finished leveling... I was supposed to do this uh, quest. I like start it and I'm like, okay, I'll get ready for this huge battle. And then all of a sudden one of the pawns is, has a red thing above his head, which means he knows something about the quest. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, I wonder what he knows. And he's just like, oh, hey, we should probably run. I'm like, what? So I fleed and then it like can, it was like, oh, yeah, you can't fight this right now. I was like, oh. Oh. Uh. 
So it continued the story mission. But it's very fun. It, it's it's people who love it, I can see why they love it. Mm-hmm. And it's because it's a very like janky mid two thousands cool RPG that's got a ton of like neat mm-hmm. stuff in it. You can change your class whenever you want. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just very neat. I, I, it has a lot of like early. It came out in 2012 originally, so it has a lot of like Dark Souls ideas in it. I really mm-hmm. hate your condescending groans. I know you're mm-hmm. doing it to be funny, but I mm-hmm. absolutely abhor it. Hi, Splat Town. Oh, Splat Town's here. Great. Thanks, Odd Slim Jim. I was. Yes, a, thank I was, you. Like a, I look like a very fun level. Yeah, I'm I'm too profesh for you, unfortunately. I'm going to type in this Muyaka. Um, hey, speaking of games, I well, I think just as a callback, <laughs> I think my patience would prevent me from my lack of patience would prevent me from enjoying Dragon's Dogma. There's no There's no There's no like I w- I've never no... had to wait for anything in that game. No, no, no. I don't mean patience. It's like we were talking about how sandbox. I yeah. have no patience for games I don't enjoy, like immediately. If something rubs me the wrong way, oh. probably not going to get through it. You know what I yeah. mean? I enjoyed Dragon's Dogma from the get go. Okay. Yeah. So maybe, maybe I would. It's, it's on Switch now, right? Doesn't it run? Does it run fine? I think it runs pretty fine. I, um, I have a physical version if you want to borrow it. For what? Xbox. Well, I found that like the best way for me to play games now that I'm not super excited about is when I go on a trip, I take my Switch and then I'm like, I will at least play it for like four or five hours. Well, I just meant if you didn't want to have to pay like a thousand dollars for it. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, baby boy. What am I supposed baby, to Baby boy, that's a lot. This is. That's so loud. So loud. Excuse me. Is the wow. world ending? Do do do. So, anyways, back to that. Now that we have a couple people in here, uh, yes, Luigi is a better lover. Um, Clearly. Clearly. People uh, listen or uh, watching here. We are doing an extra live stream, so if you don't mind, if you could see us play a game for maybe a half an hour to an hour, um, let us know what you would uh, you would want us to play. If there's any like weird games you think are really good, yeah, we've got some stuff planned, but I think we're gonna kind of we're going to kind of be bouncing around a lot. Like Will was saying, we're going to play a bunch of different games. We're not going to do like a single game for 10, 12, 15 hours in a row. Yeah. Some well, of my unless... thoughts on it were like, say we, we have all these game slots figured out. Like we're going to play this X, X, Y. And then, um, Oh, I never yes. started the timer. I'm going to do that. Um, if we play for 30 minutes and we hate it, we'll stop. But if we play for an hour or something and people are like, Oh, should we keep playing? And everyone's like, "Yeah, keep playing. We'll probably keep playing." Yes, and um, ooh, Splatoon says Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, we can play that for a little bit. Yeah, it's maybe I fun. won't play it, and I'll just experience it. Maybe Donut County as well. I think that'd be a good I, game. So I, we bought that on, before I went on vacation with Karen. She played it the entire time. Uh, and you never and touched I did, it. Not it wasn't because she was playing. I never got to touch it, but I was like, like I hear it. By the time I was headed back, I head into the breach, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just play this." And then, what am I doing? I keep doing this wrong. Yeah, we're definitely gonna play some Jackbox. Definitely gonna play some Super Mario Maker Two. Um, probably play some Scanline stuff. Um, definitely some some local multiplayer. But yeah, well, so any ideas you guys have? A Seaman for Dreamcast. I'd love to play that splat out, but I think that would be more of a scan lines episode. I've also heard it's weird because it's kind of like Animal Crossing and that you've got to let it run for a while. Like you visit it day after day after day and then things start to get weird. Why is this not making it down there? Do 
to wait for it. Oh, it's because you're not popping it at the right time. Like, it will make it. You just have to hit the switch at the right time. No, it breaks down there. I don't think it does, baby boy. It keeps hitting the clam. Yeah, like the side of the clam. Well, are you throwing it at the wrong? You're, I mean, you gotta, I, I can't go anywhere else. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, move back so that it bounces properly. I mean. Because basically the issue is, once it bounces off the red, it's still hitting the... I mean, you beat it somehow. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm just saying if you could get better at the game. What am I doing wrong? <gasps> yes, I did it. Oh, no. Oh, I hope I hope you don't. <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> I would have been so mad. I would have been so happy. Oh, well, this is like easier than the last section. Whoa. Oh, this is tough. Oh, I'm so stupid. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Oh, gosh. I gotta go to work tomorrow. It's the first time this week I'll be in the office. That sucks. Yeah! Get in there. Folks in the chat, uh, just a quick, quick beg for you. If you're not already a Subpixel subscriber on YouTube, I would highly recommend you subscribe to us, not just for the good content, but also because we are only nine subs away from 500 subscribers. Who knows? You could be lucky number 500. The 500 subscriber, what are they going to get from us, Will? They're going to get uh, delicious home-baked cookies. Uh, yes, that's right. Imaginary delicious home baked cookies. Uh, mm, yeah, I lost the thread on that joke. You're not getting cookies. You just get the satisfaction of knowing that you, you hit a nice round number. Good job, boy. Not you, number 500. I did it. I think I beat every level tonight. I think. You oh no, to. there was that one. Uh, oh, I think yeah, there was one yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing pretty good. Six oh, minutes that one took me. No. I think Will is just a god. I am. Quiet down, please don't stroke his ego. Oh wait, how'd you know I called it my ego? Huh? That took a turn. <laughs> Okay, um, now we've got one from B. Davis, 1987. I love B. Davis, 1987. Actually, in the chat? No, he's on. Uh, I just started looking up some random levels that are good. Use acrobatic moves to avoid the traps and escape from Bowser's castle. Great. I'll use acrobatic moves in Super Mario 3D World, the one I played the least and probably liked the least. I believe in you. Do you believe, believe in, in me? 
At least I did that one right. Time goes by. Ooh, Spy Town's got one. Adding it to the list. You okay there, baby boy? Oh, son of a... I love messing up my camera's auto auto focus. You know what? I'm just gonna go straight to Splat Town. Wow, way to give up. I just don't. Not into it. What's Splat Town's? TJ. Sorry, B. Davis. You're not even here. Uh, hey, Last of Us news too. We got some news lately. What's What's your Last of Us uh, opinion or whatever it's called? I don't know. I played The Last of Us. I enjoyed it. I played two hours of it. It's piece of crap i knew i knew you weren't going to be a fan of last of us here's the problem i have with uncharted and last of us and i think that's pretty much it uh pardon pardon i gotta do a kleenex break here for the record i like both last of us and the uncharted game for the record you're wrong i mean i'm not wrong about me like your honor it. objection this man is facetious and fallacious. Nope. Um, yeah, I just, you know, let's get spicy towards the end of the stream here. Um, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, I can climb on this. Hi. My name's Will, and I don't know Mario. Uh. Oh. Um. Yeah. So here's here's the problem, buddy. Uh oh, for Corey's disagrees with me. Uncharted Three and Last of Us are good. Here's the problem I have with those games. Number one, well, it's not number one. Maybe we can talk this through a little bit. What 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 makes video games good? Enjoying playing them? Yeah, but what does it mean to play them? Did I get it right? What does it what do you mean what does it mean to play them? To play the game. Yeah, but that means like you're in control, right? Yeah. And you have some I would say at least some semblance of choice. There may only be one right answer, but you have ch at least choices along the way. Sure. Oh, Sp Splatoon says you have to turn comments on for this level or it doesn't work. Hi, Cozy. Thanks for joining. Uh, I've seen you before, baby boy. Thanks for coming back. I'll add you level to the list. We'll play it right after this one. All right. Did I get it right? Oh, it's lower than five. What did I choose before? Um, I think I chose two. Oh, I chose one the first time. Maybe it's three. Chose three. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. She just stuck her tongue out and went. Um, so here's the problem I have. When I'm playing video games, I like to have at Slower. least some semblance of choice or control mm -hmm. in terms of you are in an area or you are faced with an, an enemy and you have control in how you defeat them in that it's not just a straightforward experience or, you know, let's say you're exploring an area, there are uh, different ways to get through it. Last of Us and Uncharted 3 have, like, none of that. It is basically a heavily scripted cinematic experience. Yeah, I'm fine with that. 
they like they take away control they take away a lot of the exploration that would be in other games it's it's heavily scripted in terms of hitting these story beats throwing you into cut scenes and um it's just it feels like yay it feels like one of those disney world rides you know the one where you're in a car but the car is on rails and you can't go more than two miles per hour Mm -hmm. and there's a gas and a brake pedal but that's pretty much the only control you have because even if you don't steer properly you'll still be forced against the track yeah that's what those games feel like and but the thing is they polish that experience so well that people praise them as like the pinnacle of games but i'm i'm not even sure they are games sure have you how many of them have you played i played um about an hour of uncharted 2 i believe and i played 5 or 6 hours of uncharted 4 and i played 3 or 4 hours of last of us so i think i have a pretty good idea of naughty dog i guess i i, I don't see it the way you do but that's fine wow that's not how you're supposed to respond to a hot take. It's just like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. It just feels like... Why, uh, you just deleted that level. I was typing it in. Oh, sorry. I pasted it in the wrong place. There it is now. Um, last level of the night. This is true. Um, yeah, I've played all four Uncharted's and Last of Us. I really enjoyed. I really don't remember the first three Uncharted's that well. Three was good. I didn't like two that much. One was okay. Four I really liked. I thought it was a mm-hmm. little long. That was my only complaint. Like there was, it was a lot of game. Uh, and then Last of Us, I also uh, very much enjoyed. I think um, Ian Hink from um, Ian Hink from. Easy Allies has a very good example of what I'm talking about where he was playing Last of Us and there was like a there was like a level and there was a sniper at the end of the level and like it was pretty clear that you were supposed to work your way through the enemies and then like take out the sniper but he found a way to like completely flank the sniper and come up behind him but as soon as he got close the sniper spun around and shot him instantly dead mm mm-hmm. And he stopped playing the game then. He basically was like, I used my tools and my wit and my control of the character to outsmart the enemy, but because I didn't do it the exact way that the developers programmed it to happen, I was punished for it. And it wasn't a bug. It was literally programmed in as, if you do not complete this encounter in the correct way, then you will be punished for it. And that is very antithetical to gaming, in my opinion. So, yeah, we've been doing these game analysis pieces on Monday, and I'm thinking about doing one for Last of Us where I kind of solidify these feelings and basically say, hey, Naughty Dog games are, I think they are bad for the industry, and they are bad for the art form. But it would take a lot for me to spell it out. It's kind of like right. uh, Martin, Martin Scorsese. I'm not a big fan of him, but it took me years to figure out why I don't like him. You know what I mean? To like explain why I feel that way. What it is that's making me feel bad. Anyways, um, any last thoughts on that before I kick over to the outro? No, my only thing is it. I, I see your point on why you think it might be a bad game, but it doesn't mean it's a bad like st- way to tell a story. No, no, yeah, yeah, and I think I think a lot of this is presupposed on my definition of what a video game is. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah. Because and if I you think don't buy, it's very if you don't buy into that definition, then it, then it, yeah. If you don't buy into because, my definition, then it doesn't fly. Yeah, I just see it as a, um, a eight hour long movie that I can slightly interact with rather than a, um, than a full fledged game I can do with it, like an RPG. Like, I don't yeah, come yeah, to it, Last of Us when I want choice i come to last of us when i want to play a really good story yeah and i'm trying to think that uh, i'm trying to think of games in which they do similar they tell a very good story but i'm okay with the manner in which it's 
done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. But that's why that's why I think it would be an interesting piece if I could yeah. actually write it and find it. Like, I see your point of, and especially with the sniper thing that happened to that guy, but it's like, I, I, I've never played a Naughty Dog game thinking, oh, I'm going to freaking... I'm going to make my character and he's going to do this thing and that thing versus yeah, if, if Bethesda came out with a brand new game that did that, I'd be like, what, what, what is happening? Yeah. Yeah. I see. So. Okay. So anyway, so let's, uh, we've got about a minute left on this level. Let's do the outro. We are Subpixel folks. Thank you for watching us this evening. We do live streams every Tuesday and Thursday. Next Tuesday, we're going to do a live stream of destiny Two shadow keep the brand new expansion. And on Thursday, we're going to start our brand new, limited time series spooky pixel that's where i'm going to strap a gopro to my face turn the lights out and play whatever horror game will picks for me we're going to be doing that for five weeks every thursday in october um we also have edited videos that come out every wednesday uh this upcoming week it's server quest and this past wednesday that's right yesterday we put out part two of the fake nes classic we basically bought a fake nes classic off of amazon that said it had 620 games we went through and played some of those games and just had a crazy time uncovering what was in in this bootleg purchase. Um, if you would like more Subpixel content, you should subscribe to us on YouTube. You should follow us on Twitch as well as uh, subscribe on Mixer. And you should follow us on social media uh, at Subpixel Team on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Let us know what you like about this video, what you don't like about this video, as well as all sorts of other things. If you like, comment, or subscribe, it basically lets us know that you enjoy our content, and it also tells YouTube that our videos are worth showing to other people as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Will, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And you can find me at Think Gibson on Twitter. I realized I haven't done any Gundam posts lately. I haven't had you time to do that. Gun you should do should more get Gundam back on this. It's good stuff. I realized I didn't have the Mario audio on the entire time. Sorry about that. Sorry, folks, it's okay. Uh, this has been a weird stream. I've been traveling. Will has no excuses, but thanks for watching anyways. Yeah, uh, this came in the mail today. I'm very excited about it. Oh, wow, that does look exciting. I heard you get to fight Tom Waits in this game. Oh, oh, oh nice. 25 bucks for this, not bad. Not bad, Complete with the inbox. box. That's not yeah. bad at all. I was very excited. Anyways, uh, yeah, Ian just did the whole thing, uh, so be on the lookout. For all those things, thank you again for watching, everyone. Um, Uncharted's a great game, so is Last of Us, if that's the type of game you're looking for. If not, go play Dragon's Dogma. I'm going to strangle you. Bye.